Hello guys, it's Matt and welcome to another optimization video. Once again, another Sony exclusive has finally come to PC and this time it is the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. This includes both the main Uncharted 4 game and its DLC The Lost Legacy. If you might have noticed already, this video is quite short and that is because the game's performance is extremely well optimized that I was so surprised with my frame rate even when running the game at maxed out settings. That is right guys, Uncharted 4 on PC performs extremely well that I don't need to optimize my settings any further. And take note guys, I am still not using any upscaling method. And if that's not enough, the level of visuals in this game is just jaw-droppingly good. The uh, fluidity of the animations, especially the facial movement, just looks so expressive and well-realized. And when you couple them with the beautifully crafted lighting and the high-resolution texture work, the game just looks like CGI. Uh, there's no other way to put it. So if you got a graphics card that's more or less similar to an RTX 3070, then I don't think you'd have any problems running this game at ultra settings with 60 FPS. I am very, very surprised to say that for a PC port of a AAA console exclusive game in 2022. So that's it guys, just crank your settings to ultra and go ahead and enjoy the game. Thanks everyone, bye bye. However. Not all gameplay scenarios in this game are in the same frame rate range. For example, in this opening scene of The Lost Legacy, my frame rate went down to the 60s, and I would presume this would also cause drops below 60 FPS for some lower end cards. Now, naturally, you'd want to tinker with the settings to get more FPS, right? But in this case, I've got a bit of a bad news for you. That is because adjusting the advanced graphics settings won't give you the substantial boost you'd naturally expect. In this scenario, for example, even using the lowest presets only gives me about 7 FPS, which is far less of the benefit I want compared to the visual sacrifice I just gave away. So for me, I don't really recommend spending time with advanced graphics settings, but with the exception of just one setting. That is, the shadows setting. And this is the only setting I've tested that at least makes some noticeable difference in terms of performance. When you are in lighting heavy situations where more shadows are generated, turning down the shadows from extra to high can give you up to 8 or more FPS, which is really generous for an individual graphics setting in this game. But this is the only adjustment I recommend since turning down shadows to anything lower than that will just give you blocky, pixelated shadows that flicker around and ugly shadow artifacts around objects. This just gives a huge disservice to the visual quality of this game which I strongly, strongly recommend to not be compromised in any way. What I do recommend however is utilize upscaling methods. Which is another surprise for me in this case. In all the other titles I've tested, I would always recommend DLSS over FSR. But in this game, I am shocked to find myself preferring FSR 2.0 over DLSS. That is because DLSS on this game, for some odd reason, just looks a lot blurrier than FSR. Uh, this is made more noticeable when the camera moves in any direction. Also, DLSS would usually have a clear advantage over other upscaling methods in resolving those flickering and aliasing on distant objects, but in Uncharted's case, these issues are still present in both DLSS and FSR 2.0. That leaves FSR the less blurrier solution. So as of this moment, if you'd want to use an upscaling method, go with quality FSR. So that's it guys, sorry if this video didn't give you as much optimization information as my previous guides, but I guess that is a good thing, right? The game is just so well optimized that I won't be using any upscaling method for my own personal playthroughs. If you want more FPS however, just drop down shadows to high or use quality FSR. 
A huge thank you to Iron Galaxy Studios for making a well-optimized port of this game. The PC community badly needs this one right now. So feel free to comment down your questions down below and please share your experience with the game as well. Thanks again guys, take care and bye bye. Let's get one thing straight, this is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules.